I think for me, rugby is a huge part of the curriculum for a lot of boys in a lot of schools around the country. And I think the programmes and the benefits for that, for them, speaks for themselves. So for girls, rugby is just another sport that teaches great things to kids without them realising it. And it's an opportunity to allow your students to become more developed, challenged and and well-rounded people. And it's an opportunity to make friends if they're not part of a school club. It's an opportunity for them to be part of one and to make friends and have new experiences away from the classroom, which is quite a stressful environment. It's very limited for girls to play rugby, I think. It's a very boys-orientated sport in schools. Mm. And I think if we can get primary school kids or secondary school kids to especially girls, just to have a go, then we can get so many people involved in the game. If you go to community clubs at the weekends and you look at like the younger age groups, there may be quite a lot of girls and maybe like the youngers are under six, under sevens, but as it goes up, because it's then mixed, like the girls sort of drop off until it then goes girls only under 13s. So I think that little section that we have, if we can get more girls involved in schools, then it may blossom a bit more in community rugby and then expand the youth pathway really. No matter how like good or bad your week is, when I play rugby, I just feel happy. And it's such a, I don't know, like a good emotion that I have when I play and I just don't want that to stop. So this is something that an old PE teacher said when I was in school. He's like, just go for it. Just, just have a go. If you don't like it, you know, if it's not for you, that's fine. Go find something else that inspires you. But if you turn up and enjoy it, that's fantastic. If it's not for you, it's only a happy life.